Hello, wisdom seekers. Imagine strolling through life with an unshakable confidence, where challenges are met with calm determination rather than anxiety. This is the essence of acting as if you already own it, a principle that can turn the ordinary into the extraordinary. Inspired by Marcus Aurelius's stoic wisdom, you'll learn how to adopt this powerful mindset, making every action reflect deep self-assuredness and control. Picture facing every obstacle with the poised confidence of someone who's already triumphed. Join us as we explore how embracing this stoic approach can redefine your response to life's trials and elevate your entire existence. Discover the secrets to mastering presence and command and see how owning your mindset can lead to ultimate triumph. Number one, confidence through conviction. You can't just walk around acting like you're in charge without genuinely believing it. That's not real confidence. It's just play acting. True confidence comes from convincing yourself you deserve what you want, even before you actually have it. This isn't about repeating a mantra in the mirror while feeling anxious inside. It's about aligning your mindset with the reality you're striving for. When you act as if you already have what you want, you start to silence that nagging inner voice, seeking approval from others, society, or your own insecurities. This isn't about being arrogant or showing off. It's more subtle. It's about owning your place in any situation. You walk differently. People can sense it. You're not waiting for permission to express yourself or for life to give you the go-ahead. You've already decided in your mind that you're in control. And here's the twist. When you stop craving validation, it often comes to you. It's as if the universe can detect desperation and shies away from it. But when you carry yourself with the confidence of someone who knows what they're doing, whether you're still figuring things out or not, everything starts to shift. Opportunities arise, people respond more positively, and you begin to truly own your space, not by fooling anyone, but by tapping into an authentic self-assuredness. It's about letting go of doubt and moving forward as if success is just around the corner, waiting for you to catch up. Number two, ownership without possession. In Stoic philosophy, owning something isn't about having it in your hands. It's about not letting it control you. It might seem counterintuitive, but that's the essence of Stoicism, flipping conventional thinking on its head. You can own a car, a house, or a designer watch, but if losing any of these would completely shatter your world, then who's really in control? Stoicism teaches that true ownership comes from how you perceive and respond to what you have. It's about being okay whether you have these things or not. The real power lies in being able to walk away from them without a second thought. Think of it this way. If you're mentally attached to something, whether it's a relationship, a job, or even a favorite pair of shoes, then it has a hold on you. To act as if you own it means you're in charge, but only because you've mastered your own mind, not because you've amassed a lot of stuff. This doesn't mean you have to live like a monk or give up all luxuries. It's about the freedom that comes from knowing that your happiness and success don't depend on external things. Your sense of worth comes from within, and that makes everything else feel like a bonus rather than a necessity. The best part? When you achieve this internal sense of ownership, you become the calmest person in the room. You stop jumping through hoops to maintain appearances, chase status, or seek approval. You've already won because your peace of mind isn't up for grabs. Whether you're living in luxury or embracing minimalism, you've figured out the secret. It's not what you own that matters, but the ability to let it all go and still be content. That's true ownership. Number three, calculated indifference. The beauty of stoicism is that it doesn't focus on chasing results. It's about handling whatever comes your way with unshakable calm. When you act as if you already own it, you don't fixate on outcomes as if they're the be all and end all. You pursue your goals, but you don't lose sleep over how things turn out. If you succeed, great. If not, you're still in control because you weren't emotionally tied to the result. That's the real power of stoicism, being calmly indifferent to outcomes. Acting like you own it isn't about swaggering around and pretending everything always goes your way. It's about being prepared for anything and keeping your cool no matter what happens. You're not panicking when things go wrong because you've already accounted for that. 
Life is unpredictable, so why waste energy stressing over what you can't control? Stoicism is about conserving that energy for what really matters, your response. When you master this calm detachment from outcomes, people notice your steadiness and how you remain unshaken. You're not tossed around by success or failure, and that calm becomes its own strength. You enter situations with the confidence that you'll be fine no matter what happens, and that assurance shines through. It's like life becomes less stressful because your happiness isn't tied to whether things go your way. You've already decided you're good, and the universe can handle the rest. This kind of detachment makes you resilient, cool, under pressure, and steady when others falter. And let's be honest, nothing is more impressive than someone who stays composed, rain or shine. Number four, silent command. Real power is often the quietest. Those who truly have it don't need to boast or make a fuss. They simply carry themselves differently. It's a silent authority, a presence that speaks for itself without any fanfare. Stoicism teaches that if you have to broadcast your control to the world, you might not be as in control as you think. When you act like you own it, you don't need to prove anything to others. Your actions, decisions, and body language all subtly convey your confidence. You're not seeking validation or applause because you've already validated yourself. The loudest people often crave attention, revealing their insecurity. But someone with quiet confidence draws attention effortlessly. It's like having a secret weapon. You don't demand attention, but your calm presence naturally attracts it. It's not about arrogance. It's a quiet assurance that you've got things under control. True dominance comes from within, like having an invisible shield that says, I'm secure, no validation needed here. This is the power of staying low key. You're not chasing after attention, it naturally gravitates toward you. When you're in control of yourself, you don't need flashy displays or bravado. You're not competing because you're already ahead, without even trying. That silent command acts like a magnet. The more you own yourself, the less effort you need to put into owning the room because whether they realize it or not, the room is already drawn to you. Number five, ownership is responsibility. In the stoic view, owning something isn't just about having power, it's about taking on the responsibility that comes with it. Marcus Aurelius didn't seek control over the empire for the sake of control. He understood that true ownership means shouldering the full weight of the role, no matter how challenging it becomes. When you act like you already own it, you're not just aiming for the spotlight to enjoy the glory. You're stepping up ready to handle everything that comes with it, both the highs and the lows. Think of it this way. Claiming power means you also take on all the baggage that comes with it. Acting as if you own it means you're committed to carrying the load, even if it's heavier than you anticipated. The Stoics were all about owning your decisions and actions, including facing the consequences. If you want that leadership role, be ready to make tough calls and face the fallout when things go wrong. What's surprising is that once you accept this level of responsibility, it's not as intimidating as it seems. Owning it in the stoic sense builds resilience because you're not trying to dodge blame or avoid failure. You're committed to seeing things through, knowing challenges are part of the deal. People respect someone who embraces this responsibility over someone who's just after the perks. They can tell the difference between someone who wants the title and someone who's ready to handle the responsibilities that come with it. So, when you act like you own it, you're not just reaching for the rewards, you're ready to tackle the grind as well. You're standing firm, understanding that leadership, success, and even relationships come with their own set of challenges, and you're prepared to manage every single one. Number six, internal wealth. True ownership starts in your mind, not in your wallet. Marcus Aurelius, despite his immense power as an emperor, would likely tell you that the most valuable thing you can own is control over your own thoughts and emotions. Everything else, wealth, status, even relationships, is fleeting. But when you have mastery over yourself, that's a form of wealth no one can take away. It's like having a solid foundation that everything else is built upon. The Stoics understood this perfectly. They realized that external factors are beyond your control, so why let them keep you up at night? When you focus on mastering yourself, the external noise becomes less overwhelming. 
You're not disturbed by what others are doing or saying because your own mental, emotional, and spiritual house is in order. These days, that kind of internal stability is rare. People often get so caught up in seeking approval from others that they overlook the most important asset, their own mind. Once you grasp this, you'll find that life's challenges don't shake you as much. Sure, problems will still come up, but your responses become more measured and calm. You're playing the long game, avoiding getting bogged down by every little drama or setback. It's like having a superpower. While everyone else is panicking over things they can't control, you remain composed, knowing you have your own inner strength. This internal wealth is unassailable, something that can't be stolen, taxed, or lost. It's all yours, secure and unbreakable. Number seven, confidence without arrogance. When you act like you already own it, you're not trying to show off or prove you're better than anyone else. In fact, that's the last thing on your mind. It's not about arrogance. It's about a quiet, unshakable confidence that doesn't need to be loud to be felt. You're comfortable with who you are and not in a competition with anyone, except maybe yourself, and even then, you're gentle. Marcus Aurelius had this nailed down. Despite ruling an empire, he didn't carry himself like he was untouchable. He understood that true confidence comes from knowing your own value and not being rattled by every little challenge. When you act as if you already own it, it's because you've built an inner strength that doesn't rely on external validation. You don't need praise or recognition to feel secure. You already know you're handling things well. What's fascinating is that people are drawn to this kind of quiet confidence. They respect it. We've all seen those who try too hard to seek attention, approval, or praise. It's exhausting just watching them. But when you're confident without needing the spotlight, it's magnetic. People are attracted to you because they sense something genuine and real. This type of confidence doesn't waver when things go wrong or when you're not in the limelight. You've got your own back, and that's more than enough. So when you act like you own it, it's not about showing off. It's about truly believing in yourself. And when you do that, others naturally start to see your worth. That's confidence without arrogance. And it's what makes you stand out effortlessly. Number eight, action over ambition. When you act like you already own it, you don't get bogged down by every little hiccup or setback. You adopt a mindset that sees obstacles as part of the journey, not as dramatic crises. Stoicism is all about handling challenges with a level head. After all, panicking has never solved anything. Instead of sinking into a why me mindset, you think, okay, this is happening, what's the next step? What makes this approach powerful is that it shifts your focus from dwelling on the problem to finding a solution. You stop wasting time complaining about what went wrong and start working on how to fix it. Acting like you own it doesn't mean everything will always go perfectly. It means that when things go off track, you stay calm and collected. You're resilient, adapting and moving forward, because you understand that most obstacles are temporary if you stay steady and keep pushing through. Here's the great part. People start to notice how unflappable you are when faced with challenges. While others are losing their composure, you're keeping yours. This calm under pressure is rare and earns respect, even envy. It's like you're playing a different game where setbacks are just detours, not roadblocks. You don't take failure personally because you know it's just part of the journey, not the end. This mindset makes you someone who can handle anything and not just get by, but thrive. It's the kind of inner strength that makes life's bumps feel like minor pebbles rather than mountains. So when you act like you already own it, you're really mastering your response to the chaos, because that's where true control lies. Number nine, the art of pretense without pretension. Mastering the art of pretense without pretension means exuding confidence and poise while keeping your true motives and ego in check. Imagine being a top-notch actor on stage, flawlessly playing your role without letting it take over your life. This approach is about showing confidence and skill while staying authentic and grounded. You present yourself as capable and composed, tackling situations with a calm, collected demeanor. It's not about putting on a fake persona or pretending to be someone you're not. Instead, it's about embodying a genuine confidence and grace that doesn't come off as arrogance. Think of it like wearing a perfectly tailored suit, not to impress others, 
but because it makes you feel like your best self. You're not boasting about your achievements or putting on a show. You're operating from a place of true self-assurance and competence. This approach helps you handle complex social and professional situations with ease. Whether it's a tough conversation, a high-stakes meeting, or a challenging problem, you deal with it calmly and effectively without needing approval or validation. In essence, it's about being the steady presence in the midst of chaos, managing pressure with a serene confidence. You're not trying to be someone else. You're simply being the best version of yourself. This creates a compelling and admirable presence that's genuine, not pretentious. It's the art of confidently owning your space and handling whatever comes your way with quiet, assured elegance. Number 10. Legacy over temporary wins. The stoic principle of legacy over temporary wins is all about shifting your focus from chasing short-term successes to building something that lasts. It's like choosing to play the long game rather than getting caught up in the excitement of quick wins. Imagine you just nailed a big presentation at work and everyone is applauding. It's a great feeling now, but will it leave a lasting impact or will it just be a fleeting moment? True greatness isn't about collecting accolades or scoring easy victories. It's about creating a legacy that speaks for itself long after the applause dies down. When you prioritize legacy, you're thinking about the bigger picture, what you leave behind and the lasting influence you have on others. It's about making choices and taking actions that build a reputation of integrity and lasting impact. Instead of just celebrating today's win, you're laying the groundwork for a future where your values and achievements continue to inspire and guide. Think of it like planting a tree. You're not just interested in this season's fruit, but in the shade it will provide and the legacy it will leave for future generations. Temporary wins are like picking low-hanging fruit, easy and quick, but not necessarily leading to long-term success. Building a legacy requires vision, patience, and a commitment to something greater than immediate rewards. In practical terms, this means investing in what truly matters, relationships, personal growth, and contributions that resonate beyond today's headlines. It's about making decisions that align with your core values and will stand the test of time. It's easy to be distracted by the allure of quick wins, but real success is measured by what endures. So the next time you're tempted to chase after the next big thing, remember, it's not just about winning the race, but about the mark you make along the way. Focus on building a lasting legacy, and you'll find that the true rewards are not just in the victories you achieve, but in the enduring impact you create. Mastering the art of acting like you already own it is more than just having confidence or swagger. It's about developing a deep mindset that lets you handle life with steady calm and inner strength. By focusing on controlling your own thoughts and reactions, rather than seeking approval from others, you build a sense of stability that isn't shaken by temporary setbacks or fleeting successes. This approach doesn't just boost your effectiveness, it makes you more admirable to others. When you truly own your mindset, you become a source of quiet strength and genuine leadership, naturally earning respect and trust. Ultimately, it's not just about owning things. It's about owning your responses to the world, creating a life that's not only successful but deeply grounded and unshakable. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Stay strong, stay stoic, and bye for now.